Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my Manny for the weekly Saturday Stamping collab and the theme this week is beach. On my nails already, I have one coat of Hit the Bottle White Undies, which is a water-based peel-off base coat. And now I'm going to put on some liquid latex. This liquid latex I bought from Amazon in this big four ounce bottle. It's just liquid latex fashions. Um, that is cheaper I have found than um, any other liquid latex. And then I just put it into an old polished bottle. Uh, I'm putting this on because I'm doing, I don't know if I said it yet or not, I'm doing a gradient. Let me put my paper towel down. And um, gradients are messy. So, um, just gonna go and put on a generous coat and kind of go under a little bit too of the liquid latex. Um, this liquid latex I've had actually for a couple of years and it's still good, so. Um, I highly suggest getting that one from Amazon because it is well worth the price. Okay. So I'm going to put it around and it'll get lighter when it dries. Um, it'll go from this to um, like a translucent kind of green. But I'm going to do the rest of my nails and I'll be back. All right, so I've got the liquid latex on. And see, it's starting to dry. See the thumb, it's starting to get like a little more see through than this one. So, um, while I'm waiting for this to dry, I'm going to show you the um, plates that I'm going to be using. I really need to clean that bottle cap. All right. Um, so I do my gradients a little bit different. Uh, most people sponge them on. I don't. I'm going to use this plate, Lena Make Your Marco 3, and I'm going to use this big negative image space. And I'm going to uh, use that to do my gradient, and I will show you how. But I'm also going to use, now don't come for me because I already have all these plates, so I'm going to use them, okay? My Manny Allergy MXM033, I'm going to use this image right there for the surf. And then I'm also going to use my What's Up Nails A019. I'm going to use these footprints because I'm going to do some footprints in the sand. Uh, my are still wet. So the polishes that I will be using for my beach. For the sand, I'm going to be using LA Colors Color Last Metallic Finish. This one is Champagne Sapphire. And this one's not a stamping polish, but I'm going to make it work. It's one of the reasons why I have the white peel off base coat on and not a clear. Uh, for the ocean, I'm going to use Phoenix. And this is Ocean Stamping Polish. Um, this was in the 12 Days of Polish from the Lantern and Ruin Christmas Advent Calendar. All right, still kinda, well, no, that's a little better. All right, let me zoom you in. And then I'll show you how we're going to use this negative image space. 
Um, need a stiff scraper. Where's my scraper? Where did I put my scraper? Now look, I just cleaned it off. Did it fall on the floor? I do not see it on the floor. Really? Where did I put it? <sighs> Alright, sorry, bear with me. I'm going to have to dig out another one. Watch, I'm going to find it as soon as I'm finished with this manning. Do I have another stiff one? Mm, that one's kind of thin. Um... Let me try this old Walmart gift card. Because that's stiff. Oh, no, look. I found it. Ha, ha. And my Dixie plates. All right. My Dixie plate scraper. I'm going to turn this sideways because that's easier for me. Excuse me. And I'm going to try to do this without touching my fingers together. Because when that liquid latex touches more like latex, it just it wants to stick. Alright, so I'm going to take my sand color. And you want to put it on the edge here. Because this one's not a stamping polish. Oh, I need a generous amount. And then I'm going to take my ocean color. And that's going to go here. Then you want to scrape as low and flat as possible. So I have it almost completely flat. And gently scrape. And you want to do it a couple of times because you want to kind of blend those. And that's too much. Well, let me see if I can still make it work. And see it picked up a little bit. Um, let's see if we look at it this way. The ocean goes on the bottom. So the sand's going to be at the top. So stamp that. And just like that. If I was off frame, sorry. I had to do it. I'll show you get on the other on the other hands. Put some more here. Now normally when you stamp, you want to clean your plate in between every stamp because this is a negative image. For the whole image, I'm going to clean it in between um, every other stamp instead of every stamp. <laughs> Alright, take our scraper again and gently, and you want to do just a couple of times back and forth because you want to blend it. That's not blending too well, but and look, I missed some. Oh, but it's a little nail, so I'm good with that. Was I off camera for that? Okay. See, I've got some more polish still on here. I don't know if that's going to work. And it didn't. Alright. So, we're going to clean our plate. 
with 100% acetone. Clean my scraper off too. Okay. On to the next. Okay, so I'm speeding up the rest of um, me doing the gradient so that hopefully this video won't be too long because it is you know a little bit of a process doing every nail like that with the stamping but um uh, i want you to see it especially if you've never done a gradient this way before i think it's helpful to see a few times you know um if you plan on trying it yourself you know, for me, the more times I see something, the the more things I spot each time sometimes. And so it might be a little easier for me when I try to do it myself. Um, I do not know how I messed up that ring finger. It's so bad. <laughs> oh, it's so lumpy and bad. Um, but anyway, yeah, so after... Um, I do my pinky. I'm actually going to go through and do all the nails again, starting with my thumb first, because that one will be dry. Um, cause you don't want to do wet on top of wet cause then you'll just end up picking up the polish, but I do want it to be a little bit darker. Um, I do want to try to fix that ring finger. So I'm going to do it all again. All right. All right, I'm going to clean up, take off the liquid latex, and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I have removed the liquid latex, and I've done clean up. And then I top coated with uh, Salon Perfect Plumping Gel Gel Effect Top Coat. And while I was waiting for that top coat to dry, I went ahead and polished this hand. So that one no longer has just the white undies on it. Now, time for the Maniology MXM033 with this image of the surf. I'm gonna turn it this way. Hopefully that plate doesn't blind you. And I'm going to stamp with Maniology Frozen. Um, when I tested it with white, the white looked a little harsh to me so I decided to go with frozen this is gonna be my surf and hopefully I do not mess up this hand because it's still damp that one I top coated with my glistening glow top coat says it's fast drying we'll see it's my first time using it so all right great that pick up see if it picks up it did good i was scared i was talking a little too much but it's all good and that all right so i'm going to speed up doing this stamp on the rest of my nails to try and um cut this video so it's not too too long since it's the same stamp on on all the nails in the same spot i'm just gonna speed it up um i almost did not use this plate if you will notice the next plate that I use after this one, it also has an image of some surf. But when I tested out that one, I just 
I, I really didn't care for how it looked. I don't know if it's because my nails are very narrow. So it just looked a little odd to me. Uh, so I decided to go with this image because this is the only other image I have of Surf. Now, I don't know if you're aware or not. Some may be, some may not. There is some controversy with Manny Allergy. So I almost didn't use this plate. Um, if you've noticed my past couple of videos, I haven't really been using their products. But, you know, I decided, I've, I've, they already have my money. You know, I've already purchased them. So it's not hurting them for me to not use them. It's hurting me because that's just like money I've thrown away then. Because I have them, but they're just sitting here unused. So I did decide to go ahead and use it. But I will say this. Please do your own research. Um, Gailene with Gailene 325 has said that she has emailed them and, and had a conversation with them and said that she feels, you know, better after her conversation. Um, I do need to sit down and email them as well because I do love all of their products. So, and um, that's most of what my stamping products are is, you know, many allergy plates and polishes. So, um, see, my straight up black, many allergy. So, I am, um, I need to sit down and email them and, and see if, you know, they give me a response that, that I'm okay with. But since I haven't done that at the moment, I have removed my ambassador code from my videos and from my Instagram. Just because, you know, I don't feel good about promoting them right now. So, I put the black footprints down first because I want to do an image of you know footprints in the sand but you know I kind of want it to look realistic but I want to give it some depth so you know a footprint in the sand it, it's not black it's like shaded a little bit I guess for lack of a better word so that's why I'm going over the black with this liquid gold from Twinkle Tea to try to give it depth to make it look like you know um, indented footprints, you know, in wet sand. But you're going to see it, it's too close to my base color. So when I stamp it over, it just gets lost and all you see is the shadow. So, did not turn out how I tried to do it. And, and I think it's because I did two coats of my gradient stamping. Um, when I did my testing, I only did one, so that might be why. But you have to look at it just right in the right angle to get it to show. So, I was going to do the footprints on every nail, but after this, I decided, yep, that's not going to work. So, I'm going to stamp a starfish using the Manalogy seashell. Uh, on my middle finger just so that I can have another image on my little beach mani and it's not just you know surf and sand so um, I'm gonna clean up and come back with my photo I want to thank you for watching I really appreciate it and here's everyone else's photos. And if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, comment. I try to reply back to all my comments. And I want to thank you for joining me so much this week. And I'll see you next time. Bye.